Coach Daryl Davis, Oxen Hill Boxing, man. You put in some years and effort into everything that you got going on. How does it feel to see so much come to play in the future, your, your fruits of your labor, you know, being able to, to, to blossom like they have? Oh, man, steady grind. And, hey, that's why I had this banquet, so I can soak it in. Really never got a chance to sit down and just eat it. Like, and just get everybody in one place and just soak it up. It's always the next tournament, the next one, the next yeah. one. I never got to sit down and just be thankful. Say I did it, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being a pressure, I gotta go back one another. I got another. I got a new kid, I gotta build him. And this and that. One by one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you for me and my team and everybody who always supported me. You remember me from day one, right? Yeah. Day yeah. one, my first time coaching. Exactly, yeah. 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 And and what and, and knowing you from day one, what was it like to have that? Was you ever frustrated and, and wanted to actually throw in the towel, man, when you think things weren't going your uh, way? Just the negativity in the, in the sport of boxing when you first start off, which I understand you got to prove yourself. But, like, man, you working with kids, people just just knock you. Like, like I, I just didn't get them, man. That's why I started yeah. my own thing so I could bring everything from my spirit. I just, yeah. I just don't get, like I said, I'm up there in one of the interviews. If I see a new coach, I'm going to embrace him. I'm going to help him. I didn't get that. I had to go right through these dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how did you? How did you? Were you able to actually solely concentrate on the kids and not think about the, the the all the negative things that was coming towards you? Because I'm an athlete, and you know, I, I play college quarterback. I play college all the way up through high school on a high level, so I can handle criticism. So that was nothing. And uh, playing that position helped me a lot. Yeah. And also, how you know with this, with this banquet going on and everything. How would you able to balance this, your family life, the COVID nineteen situation, and all, and just put this together, this banquet I mean, together? God, man, it's just like I just stuff just happens. Like I don't even know. I just be like, okay, I'm practicing outside, and, and I'm going to Wyoming to go fight in July. Like stuff just stop, come my way, and I'm, I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not complaining. Yeah. You know so, any last things you want to say to any kid that's trying to get into boxing? Or your, your your gym is an open gym. Do you receive any other new cap talent coming in? Oh uh, yeah, I got a, a lot of new PBs that's coming in that's just starting off and stuff like that. And then my advice to any coach, I mean, um, it's it's a rough sport. So, uh, you know, you got to be strong to survive. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I got to see. Like, they gotta. It's hard. Yeah. You know, Appreciate you, coach. Uh, thank you. All right. All right.